You're watching Chicago's leader in high school sports coverage. This is CN 100. Glenbark West, very energetic team, very enthusiastic team. Uh, she always gets them up to play every single match, uh, every time we've seen them, whether it be a tournament or just another match. And, you know, it's, it's always a battle between us. Downing Grove South is just tough. They're rough and tough. They're um, good athletes, usually one of the better athletic teams that we play. I always look forward to this match, just like every other match, but, you know, just the energy of it, you know, it, it kind of pumps me up a little bit. They're coached brilliantly, um, Tony and Kurt have been around as long as I've been around, and we've watched uh, each other kind of grow up and watch our programs grow. And there is no um, negativity, so it's, it's the coaches get along, the kids get along. We're looking forward to it, as always, and I'm sure she is as well. You know, it's always a great time uh, to, to kind of play this rivalry uh, over the past couple of years. I think at any given day, DGS versus Glenbard West, anybody can win at any given day. That's how we always have played. So I'm really looking forward to it. It'll be good for our kids. CN100 presents the game of the week, and today we come to you from Downers Grove South High School. A little boys volleyball action for you, and a good one between two very good teams in the West Suburban, the Glenbard West Hilltoppers and the Downers Grove South Mustangs here on CN100. Hi, everyone. Welcome into our broadcast. John Cohn with me for you, Matt Rodewald, and this should be a good matchup and an entertaining game between two teams that are pretty familiar with each other. Very familiar. Excellent matchup. West Suburban Conference always has some of the best volleyball, and tonight we've got the best of the gold taking on the best of the silver. Both teams undefeated in conference. We'll see who takes the loss today. Let's start with Glenbard West here, and they've been a steady up-and-coming program for the last couple of years. You've been impressed with the way they do it, and of course, they'll be out here to try and prove it against the defending state champs. It'll be a tough matchup for them, but they're an outstanding team. Very well balanced this year. Got a lot of hitters, an interesting mix of youth and experience, and uh, they're coming off a huge win Tuesday night on their Pack the Place night. They beat arch rival Lions, so they're coming in with a lot of momentum. They've got an experienced head coach in Christine Gentemeyer who knows that, yeah, they may not have all the offensive stars, but they're going to play some solid defense. We've always been known as a defensive team. The senior class is small. They're not 6'4", 6'5", 6'6". They're small, feisty, um, really intelligent. Um, and it's helping us on our first line defense, second line defense, and all across our setters are so brilliant. They make good decisions and so we're a well-balanced threat. And they're going to see quite the Mustang attack for them today and test that defense for sure. The Mustangs are defending state champs. They come in with reloaded team, and they're pretty good, and they're just getting the rhythm right now. Yeah, they are. They lost three key players from last year's amazing state championship run. And you're right, Matt, they struggled a little bit early, but they're playing their best volleyball now. They lost their star setter, Jordan Polecki, so they had to retool a little bit there, but uh, playing very good volleyball, a lot of momentum right now. They lost their captains, but Kurt Stoyer knows that he likes the group that he has, the makeup that he has, and the experience on the court today. We returned a lot of experience. We returned nine guys from last year's state championship team. So their experience and actually they're excited for this season you know, to begin it and you know going into the season uh, all through the off season. So that experience and, and their skill set is, is taking them as far as we've come so far and you know we're hoping to go a long way again. Good look at the server there. Will Church, the sophomore, six feet, three inches tall, not done growing him. He could be 6'5 before it's done. This is going to be an excellent player. 12th ace of the season there. They go to the left side. Just a little touch pass for Tischler. Almost a lift there. And they find, find the right spot. Beautiful dig by Deadman that time. Mustangs a chance still. Blocked. They'll try it again. They get it over. Hilltoppers will reset. Set it up left side. Nagel blocked. One more shot. They go back over. Mustangs will set up now. Kazmierik, left side, Tischler slams the door, but too far out. The point for the Hilltoppers. Best point of the match, both ways. Great offense, great defense. Best point of the match, had the fans up, cheered them on. There's the look at the end of it, Kazmierik with the nice set. Tischler just didn't take the right angle on that hit, great point. Schmidt will go again. He's been serving quite a bit here. I serve to the back. Hits one of the standards up top, so they push it over. Mustang set it up. And the tip, he found space. How about that for Tyler Kazmierik? A pretty crafty move for the point for the Mustang. Tyler Kazmierik, you watch him here on the replay. He is filling in 
for the All-Conference, maybe All-Stater Jordan Paulucki. Start to see more and more Division I talent come out of Illinois. Tischler's serve, though, a little too low. Mustangs, but Schmidt goes left side, block, but no one's there. 12th block of the match, but still not enough. It's 5-2. Yeah, you mentioned volleyball, a game of momentum, and Downers Grove South has retrieved the momentum here in game three, courtesy of Will Schmidt and company, 5-2 leader. Pretty big momentum swings here in game number three. Roberts tries to defend himself. That goes over. Mustangs now a chance. Left side, Schmidt again, blocked. Picked up. One more time, Schmidt again. Blocked again, and it's a point for the Hilltoppers. Now Kyler Kotsakis got the block, but tremendous work by Peter Scruggs, the senior who had a couple of blocks in that one dig, I think the one block in that possession. Kotsakis got the final block, but great job by Peter Scruggs of keeping the play alive defensively. Here's Belwamini again. They go up front, Bischoff sets it up. Can't knock it down, Mustangs keep it, send it over. Another chance for the Hilltoppers to finish it. Church puts it down. Another one of the super sauce for Glenbard West. Will Church putting it down. Nicely defended initially by Downers Grove, but. To view this exclusive Xfinity TV programming in its entirety, check the CN100 schedule for a list of air times or view this program anytime on demand by selecting Get Local and choosing CN100.